Okay, Cardinal Signs, I apologize for not getting your uh, full moon reading up. It was just, guys, this was one of the hardest full moons for me. Just anything that could go wrong went wrong. Any argument that could happen. Um, my son, who, uh, as, many of you, as many of you know, uh, was supposed to leave for Alaska um, in the military. Actually, his flight was canceled. Um, my younger children did not come back on time. Like, it was just, it was pretty chaotic. So I do apologize for not getting yours up. With that being said, I'm going to, um, I'm going to do one for you guys for like what to expect for the rest of this month basically okay and then um i'm gonna start uh the rest of the week with what we can look forward to in august so hopefully that'll help and i'm sorry <laughs> so what can the cardinal signs expect for the rest of july okay clarify eight of wands in the reverse okay so there was a situation with, you know, it, 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 it's a partnership of some sort, whether it's a business partnership or if it's a romantic partnership. And um, it looks like you're still somehow intertwined with this person, but you guys are not speaking. Now, the reason you wouldn't be speaking is it looks like there may have been, if not an actual third party, um, there could have been a accusation of it, I guess. Not allowing somebody to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, not allowing somebody to like mess with your mind anymore. They're heavy on the manipulation. I don't see you fighting for this. You're kind of just letting it uh, like pan out the way it's going to. You're, you know, you're not really spending a lot of time like reflecting on the situation. I do see change coming as well. Happy on the Scorpio. I feel like somebody's dealing with a Gemini. Dropping a heavy burden. Actually, this is probably... Okay, so guys, this is probably what event took place for you guys around the full moon. I'm going to have to guess. If not the case, I would expect it this month. You going silent, by the way, or you not putting any energy into this is keeping this person still emotionally attached. I don't know if it, there's like some sort of um, codependent, you know, I'm getting like some sort of codependent situation or like maybe you're triggering this person. And so they're, they want, you know, they want to kind of keep you in, in check, uh, not in check, but like they want to kind of keep you um, tied to them somehow. It doesn't look like you are. Like, you aren't, but they are still. And the geese are screaming. Why is the high priestess here? You may be going through something spiritual as well, cardinal signs. It looks like... It looks like you have a lot more focus on something you're working on, whether that is like a, a, something like, a, a, you know, mantras or or um, meditation or something like that, or even just like studying astrology. But it looks like, you know, something else is taking the place of your, um, like, I, I would say free time, you know, like whatever time you had maybe with this person or with this situation is now go going to be taken up with, um, you know, bettering yourself, doing things for yourself. Why is the wheel of fortune in the reverse? Heavy on the Aquarius. You may end up, this is especially for Aries, okay, you may end up going out at some point and meeting somebody that you're you're supposed to meet for a specific reason. They're going to help you in a, it doesn't have to be romantic, keep this in mind, um, but they're going to help you through some sort of situation or give you good, good advice, something like that, okay? Looks like somebody's working on a project, throwing themselves into it. It's not going quite as well as you hoped, but you got you are very focused, which is good. Cardinal signs for the rest of July.
some sort of imbalance is going to cause a tower moment for you. What is that for the cardinal signs? What is this? Okay, don't make any like irrational decisions right now when it comes to your finances specifically. Okay, so um, no crazy investments, no huge purchases, um, no sending somebody money because that you know they give you that sob story. I know like we all laugh at people that do that, but that happens quite frequently. I actually know a gentleman that sends money to a woman he's never met ever. Um, or talk to on the phone. So it does happen, guys. Not accusing you guys of doing this, but you know, uh, nothing irrational, nothing irrational. Think through everything that you, you um, spend on. <clears throat> Excuse me. We do have a uh, water sign once again in your energy. Could be somebody you work with, or it could be somebody, um, could be even a family member that you help support, something like that. They may be moving. Cardinal signs. Okay, I do see some sort of conversation happening with somebody who, again, Capricorn, this could just be you having like some sort of angry conversation with what it looks like an air sign doesn't have to be. Or for some of you, this is somebody who's just very toxic to you and you're, you're kind of like slaying the dragon, so to speak. That's going to actually help a lot. Now, Capricorn, I would be a little bit worried if it's you having the conversation. The only reason why I feel like somebody could, this is very specific guys, I am just going to put this out here, but it's very specific and I'm definitely getting this from here, so I have to mention it. I feel like somebody could be lying about a pregnancy. So keep that in mind, okay? Okay, why is the Ace of Cups in the reverse for the Cardinal signs? I don't see like a restart for you guys like a complete restart you know going into August um, a lot of stuff still gonna be like baggage I guess but you are getting out of some sort of funk now I for those of you that are looking to actually purchase a home I don't see that happening in July same with selling a home some of you may need to stay with somebody briefly as well or have somebody stay with you briefly okay could be younger than you, it doesn't have to be. Cardinal signs, rest of July. We do have the um, Ten of Coins, why is that? That's a good card to have. Dang. All right, so again, this might be a little bit <clears throat> specific to somebody, especially air and fire, any projects that you're working on right now, anything that you're really, really pushing hard on, it looks like you may have a lot of success. Um, if it's not financial, I would say, you know, anybody that's been in a relationship with where there's air and fire, it could end up, you know, blossoming and working out, but it looks more financial, guys, okay? continue yeah I don't know I don't know I'm gonna be honest with you let's see I, I'm gonna say this is really specific to Aries and Libra but I see finances getting a lot better but also like just just happiness in general whether that's a family situation or you know, friends or whatever. I just, it just looks really good for you guys. Um, sorry, the rest of the cardinal signs, but I, it's, it's, it's really like pointing towards Aries here. I do see, um, all right. So I would say cancer, you know, you're doing okay. You're doing okay. For the rest of you, I do see, a, um, it looks like a trip I don't believe it's a move. It's going to come out of the blue, so maybe it's for work. I'm not entirely sure if it's work or somebody just says, hey, come see me. But Cancer, I do see you kind of working on your 
you know, it, it could be a side business. It could be what you do for work. Maybe you're working overtime, something like that. But something you don't see coming would be, okay, the number three is relevant to this. Um, cancer, what you don't see coming, it looks like you, you may have to make an abrupt move. Now, it doesn't mean like out of your house necessarily. You might have to make a, an abrupt move in a company as well. Cardinal signs. All right, guys, somebody from the past is on the board here. They want to reconcile. This would have been somebody that may have had options, so keep that in mind. Hopefully it's not the person you just blocked. Let's see. What does that, that look like? All right, unfortunately, it's really going to... Um, you know, keep you up at night or, or when this person comes back around and is trying to fix things, it's really going to be stressful for you. Um, but you are going to learn the truth or you are going to get that apology or find that closure. Okay. That is on its way. Let's see what it looks like though. Okay. Yeah. So I don't really see it, it happening. I don't think you're I don't think you guys are going to do it. I think, you know, you're taking care of yourself. You're very focused on yourself. You don't want to keep arguing with this person. This person still has options. Um, you now have options. So why would you? Why would you go back to somebody that can't decide who they want to be with, right? Cardinal signs. What else do they need to know for July? The rest of July. Don't expect the person to go away easily, Cardinal Signs, okay? They may even be watching you from a distance and the worst part is the worst part is you're not even the only person they're watching. They're just keeping options open. The Cardinal Signs, what else? Aries, I see some sort of healing situation going on with you, especially if you've been sick. Okay, I'm seeing leg issues, but could be anything. What are you eating? Somebody's making some sort of proposal as well, and not like, you know, not marriage proposal, some sort of proposal. Now, this could be a business situation, client situation, or even a romantic situation. Heavy on the fire signs. I think, I think anybody that does end up getting or meeting somebody in July, guys, no matter what sign you are, especially if you're Capricorn here, um, I don't think you're going to take it overly serious um, or you're, or you're going to play it really, you know, more like a friendship level, you know, platon pl platonic and see where it goes. I don't think anybody's rushing into anything right now, especially after all bullshit we've all been through, right? Um, it looks like you're playing it safe, basically, and I like that. I still say you're being invited out though, especially you Capricorn. Somebody's definitely going to be like, you know, excited to spend time with you. Anything else they need to know? Um, something, oh, okay. So something that doesn't transpire is going to be a blessing to you. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, it, do, it doesn't look like a romance, but for some of you, maybe it is, okay? There is going to be a situation, especially for you, Libra, where something doesn't work out. The number five is going to be relevant. And you're going to be kind of devastated. You're going to be like, but, you know, I really wanted this house, or I really wanted this job, or I, you know, um, really wanted to go on this date, something like that. The reason it doesn't work out is sort of like divine, because in reality, something was going to go wrong with the seven of swords here. It was not, you know, you would have been much worse off actually going or buying it or doing whatever, okay? So just keep that in mind. It's sort of like a blessing in disguise. For those of you that are trying to get a new business off the ground, you may still be struggling in July. And I, 
like I said, I don't see a, a smooth. I wouldn't start, like, I would not. I would not start any new situations in July. I would not start anything new in July, I guess. We'll wait till August. We'll see how it goes. Um, for those of you that are in any sort of court situation, <clears throat> I see it going in your favor, um, at least for July. Okay, so I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm, like, stumbling because I'm still tired, but... I hope this helped.